This video shares the first year of a new program at the Trust for Indigenous Culture and Health, TIKA, in Kenya, that we call Bringing in the Voices of the Elders. TIKA's Voices program grew from our many years of health and peace building work with indigenous communities and traditional elders and herbalists. It was born in conversations between elders about two problems facing their communities, the treatment of girls by the pastoralist Maasai in Kajiado and the abuse of elders in coastal Mijikenda communities in Kilifi. Maasai girls do not have access to education or to opportunities. They suffer and their communities suffer because of this. Elders at the coast are murdered and mistreated by their communities. Over 200 elders have been murdered in the past five years. Mistrust and violence become commonplace. Among the Rabai and Kauma, there has been rampant issues of elders being killed in the pretext that they are witches. Uh, one of the biases uh, youth have been articulating is having a white hair. That is a sign of witchcraft. Or even having the clothes, the cultural traditional clothes of the Mijikenda elders, they said that uh, that is a sign of witchcraft. It's as if they took an oath to only have such clothes, which signifies that they are witches. As with all of our work at Tika, this Voices program began by listening. Listening to elders and community members talk about what matters to them. Ile kumwona mzee tayari yuko pale kwa msitu anatunga yale majani ama ile miti ya kujatengenezea hiyo dawa. Sisi tulikuwa kwa kufikiri kwamba yuenda tengeneza dawa. Moja kwa moja sisi tulikuwa tunafikiria kwamba yuenda miti ya kwamba akashangaye na mambo yake acha kitu. And what challenges they face and then working together to find define and implement local strategies for change. <laughs> this data shows that high dropout rates among Maasai girls can be attributed to pregnancy and early marriage and have at their root the fact that girls' education is not valued. This has not only hampered access to education but also undermined the quality of education gained. The elders have not embraced the education of their girls. So that's why we, we took the initiative, we went to talk to them, we found that really there was this gap and that's why we are trying to influence the elders to come closer to their students, to come so as to help them uh, uh, perceive the education uh, in a positive way, give them the moral values of the culture of moral values that molds up the child to become a better person in the future. And that's why we are really trying to bridge that gap between the elders and the youth. The goal of this project is to increase the possibility for Maasai girls to remain in school. We can do better and learn so that we can raise our community. <laughs> And to protect elders along the coast from abuse and murder. The process we are using is itself part of the solution, creating safe spaces where young and old can share ideas and raise their voices on issues that affect communities. The, the number of elders was coming down because of the elders being attacked by, by their local youth. So we've been uh, engaging the national government to see that uh, this problem is, uh, is looked at and addressed, but uh, that support from the government has been very, very low. Familia nyingi katika nini jamii ilikuwa me me dohofika yani mtoto mtoto wako na mzaa 
na akiki vijana amekuwa kijana tayari yeye ana anaidi kidi yake ya kichoto kwamba wazeni wacha ana kwa hivyo baada kwamba mmemzaa na umemlea akusaidie asaidie family hata ana hama kabisa kwenye bomu it is whispered that the young people accusing the elders of witchcraft will just be a smoke screen. The real reason is that they want the elders out of the way so that they can get the land and sell them. Kuna nyinyi mtakuja pia mzae. Watoto wenu wataita wapi kwao kama hata pale ambapo mimi naishi nimepauza. Alafu mimi siamini kuendelea kwa kwangu basi niuze ardhi. Hivyo ndo mamangu anaamini. We hosted a lot of activities including intergenerational dialogue, positive cultural practices in Mijikenda. Elders from Rabai and Kauma were in agreement that kindness, honesty, respect and courage are the main values that define a child who has grown. Youth visiting the Kaya. This was meant to demystify a belief among the youth that Kaya is meant for elders who are witches. Kawa ataka ingia pale ndani, anawawa edha na waze na vijana wake, watoto wake ama jirani. Making appointment. This was meant to demystify myths that plant medicine is for witches. Kupitia hili shirika na kuelimishwa, wameanza kuelewa kwamba, hatu wanapo shikuwa na homa, ama wanapo unapo juri wa mahali, kitonda kinaweza ponya, ama kinaweza ponywa, ponywa kwa na namita mbo unaweza toka pale na uweki hapo na Adults talking to their daughters. This was meant to demystify the myth that a male adult, that is a father, cannot talk to their daughters. Yeye wazee, wapata ile muda mzuri wa kukaa na wasichana wao, wakae na vijana wao pamoja, ndio watoto wapata ile mafunzo ya wazazi, kwa sababu nayo pia inawasaidia wasome vizuri. How do you know when to encourage such connections? And how do we bridge this gap? In Masai's move, the relationship with their guardians or his parents, ways on how they have to bring them and connect with them being uh, good leaders in the future, or bridging them to their future. Uh, but with the Cliffy and the Rabai one, this is a connection between from being a youth. Uh, given the direction of being a leader in terms of how we should understand and appreciate your, your, your leaders who are ahead of you. These are your parents, this is your, these are your, the, the, the family and the people who brought you together should appreciate and get to see ways on how we should uh, respect that. By creating the chance for elders to listen to the realities of the young, often two or three generations younger than themselves, and for the young to learn about the positive values of their culture that could be brought in to shape the future. We are building healthy and inclusive community practice that could be used to avert many social ills over time. All of us together, young and old, male and female, when we eat together, discuss together, and find amicable solutions together, we are together because it is good for kinsmen to do so. Hii siku ya leo nitasema ni siku ya kimataifa ama ni siku ya jaribuni yote kuona mabadiliko katika vijana na wazee. Wazee na vijana wanakaa pamoja wanakula sahani moja. Manake ulikuwa hakuna mzee kukaa na kijana kwa sababu kulikuwa na ile hali ya kwamba kuna kuwekana katika tunaita mvua ama katika manane kuingizana katika uchawi. Kwa hivyo kijana alikuwa anakula peke yake na mzee anakula peke yake lakini leo kila kijana atakaa na mzee na kila mzee atakaa na kijana sahani moja nyama ya mbuzi ambayo imepikwa kwa kienyeji ya kikauma 
ambao kila moja ataokota katika sahani hiyo hiyo moja ambao hapo kutakuwa kuna waminifu wa kwamba hakuna uchawi tena up to now since the project was rolled in jaribuni village in kauma and shika adabu village in rabai where tika is operational no old person has been killed in the past 12 months kufikia pia hii alifungili 16 kuna bwana na na, na, na bibi yake waliwawa hapa maya kwa hofu hiyo kwamba ni wachawi hata kutufanya sisi wazee nasi kutembea masaya ya usiku tukawa na hofu kubwa pia kwa hawa kuchana lakini kuanzia mwaka jana hapo katikati inapata miezi minane sasa ilipokuja hili shirika la Tika limejaribu kutuelimisha sisi wazee na vijana paka tumerudi sasa ni marafiki kama baba na watoto wetu youth feel connected to elders and to the positive values they embody when they ask for help or share a problem before it results in violence We now feel we are successful because inherited suspicions around culture, age and gender have been replaced by connections and friendship. Kutokea ni mtoto wangu mpaka saa hii kusema kweli nilikuwa sijawahi kukaa hasa na hawa wazee. Lakini sasa nasikia furaha nasikia amani kwa sababu hata leo na hii siwezi nikapishana na mzee kama na yule nikawa na doubt. Young women and girls are brought into conversations about education about their communities about the futures of their families and can now talk to their elders without fear and be heard as witnessed in the Maasai village of El Garoj Ole Kimunke and Mile 46 youth and elders chose communication over distance violence and abandonment as witnessed in Mijikenda where elders and the youth had a meal together as a sign of peace and living in harmony. Yaani hii kuchanganya mikono ni siku kubwa sana tunafaa kuheshimu. Kwa sababu hii inaleta umoja katika familia zetu, inaleta inaleta uhusiano kati ya ndugu na ndugu ambao walikuwa na uhadui, inaleta uhusiano kati ya baba na mtoto waliokuwa na uhadui. Youth can now walk freely to Kaya and relate themselves with plant medicine without fear of witchcraft. The number of participants attending meetings has drastically increased because of sharing information. We at Tika are humbled and proud to report the incredible successes of this first tender year and we thank our partner Voice for their good heart and attention. <laughs>